In this video, we will review these filters for your smartphone that magically improve the dynamic range and that also makes it possible to shoot those awesome seamless transitions so that they don't look choppy outdoors. You want to know how it works and why it works? Well, just keep watching. Hey, what's up guys, Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today we will review these three ND slash CPL filters from the company Sandmark. And by the way, if you want to see more reviews and more valuable content, more free valuable content on this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss any of the future videos. And by the way, a huge thanks to the company Sandmark. They were kind enough to send the set my way. So thank you very much, guys. So let's clarify what are ND filters and what are CPL filters. Usually you can buy an ND filter and this is basically like sunglasses for your camera. You can buy them at different strengths. So depending on what you're using it for, you are losing a few stops of light. That is wrong. And depending which filter you're using, you are losing a few stops of light. And why would you want that, you might be asking? Well, if you're shooting outdoors on a bright sunny day, you do need this to be able to remain the correct motion blur that you get with shooting with a shutter speed of twice of your frame rate. If you are shooting outdoors on a bright sunny day with let's say 25 frames per second, your correct shutter speed to get the correct motion blur would be a one fifth of a second. And without an end filter, your image would look somewhat like this, which is of course way too bright and absolutely unusable. But more about that topic later on. So now that we know what an ND filter is, let's come to the PL filter and that is a polarizer. A polarizer filters out all the polarized light of your environment. And what does that mean and what does that do? Well, let me show that to you. This is shot without any filters and it does look pretty good, right? But if you start moving your camera, you can see that there is basically no motion blur at all. So it just looks almost over sharp and not very cinematic at all. And this is the shot with an ND filter. This darkens the image as a whole and lets you use the correct shutter speed. So right now you suddenly have motion blur. And now this is what the image looks like with one of the three Sandmarks filters that are both an ND filter and also a polarizer. This combination is just absolutely absolutely awesome because you still get the correct exposure and you also get richer colors and less reflections. So take a look at the sky here for example. With the polarizer you can see that the blues get just super saturated and the image overall looks like you have a higher dynamic range. You'll get the best results possible if you shoot with the direction of the sun, meaning that the sun is behind you. If you are shooting against the sun, if you want to get some backlight shots, you won't see much of a difference of the circular polarizer. However, you do still have the advantage of having an ND filter on your camera, so you still get the correct exposure with the correct motion blur. So now that you know what it does and how it works, let's actually see what you get inside the box. You get a clamp that you can mount onto basically every smartphone and up front you have a little thread where you can mount all those three filters. You cannot mount them at the same time, but that also does not make any sense. You get three different filters and all of them are ND slash PL filters. The only difference is the strength of the ND filter, meaning you know how much it darkens your image overall. Usability is extremely easy. You just screw the filter on, you clamp it onto your smartphone and you are basically good to go. You just have to make sure that it covers the lenses as good as possible. And well, like I said, now you are pretty much good to go. And before you start shooting, just pan the camera into the rest where you want to film at and you know then start rotating the filter. Spin it until you get the richest and most vibrant looking colors or spin it until the reflections are gone, whatever you are looking for. The overall build quality of the filters are very nice but something that I also really like is that they are still very lightweight. This means that you can put this filter onto your phone and you are still able to use this on a gimbal. So as you can see right now, this is the DJI OM4 and my iPhone 12 Pro and I can use this without any problems and I also tested it with the Scion Smooth Q3 and this also worked 
perfectly. If you're having a super heavy phone like the iPhone 12 Pro Max or a Samsung Galaxy Note or whatever, I'm not sure if this still works, but you know, just check out the videos I have about all those gimbals because there I do also cover the payload and all this stuff. There is only one thing that I could criticize and that I found having some issues with, and that is when you're shooting towards the sun. Um, I was using the setup on my holiday recently and I wanted to capture some epic, you know, sunset shots, but I always had some weird kind of like lens flares in my shot. I think that the light was bouncing between the lens of my camera and the filter, and this created some weird looking light leaks. I think in some cases they actually looked kind of nice and I could get away with it, but sometimes it was just too noticeable and too distorting for me personally. I'm not quite sure if I didn't mount the filter system properly or if this really is an issue of the system. On the other hand, like I said before, you will get the best results anyway if you are shooting with the sun, so this is definitely no deal breaker for me. I just wanted to mention it and yeah, this is basically the only thing that I could complain about. Overall, I can highly recommend these filters for anyone that takes filmmaking with his smartphone more serious and that wanna be able to get some stunning shots like this. If you wanna learn more about the filters, I do have a link in the description. And in case you wanna learn more about smartphone filmmaking, make sure to watch our totally free webinar where I share the top five secrets to getting cinematic shots with your smartphone. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any further questions, make sure to contact me and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.